disappeared um, oh there we go I've got it the lights are going green let's get a handbrake off let's get going so we want to go down here bit of a bumpy road I might be able to give you a little bit of noise over this bridge Hopefully you can hear that. Hopefully the camera's nice and stable, actually. Thank you, Mr. Volkswagen man. Yeah, hopefully the camera's stable. I have got a GoPro Hero 7, 
that's what it is. I was gonna get a Hero 8, but uh, it was nearly triple the price, so I thought maybe not. Uh, something that I have realized, by the way, with GoPros, the GoPro itself isn't actually that expensive. It's been about 170 pounds for the GoPro itself. And then it was 40 quid for the suction cup, which I'm using on the window. And it was another 40 quid for the SD card that you have to put inside, because they don't have an inbuilt memory. So that's uh, a little bit, yeah, it's a bit like iPhone really, they charge you a lot more for a lot less and that MX-5 were for sale. We might actually go and have a look at that later on because that looked quite nice. Uh, yeah, I will say I'm absolutely loving the MX-5 guys, it's, it's, I think the best purchase I've ever made. Uh, yeah, we'll be getting an exhaust next month, guys. So in a month, we will have a new exhaust, possibly a decat system. I'm not entirely sure if I want to get a decat system yet, or I might just get uh, a cobalt stainless steel exhaust. Because they're apparently really nice, make a good noise. So yeah, we'll see when when the time comes to it. Obviously, I'll do a video putting it on and. You know, start up noises and just revving it, and you know. And of course, I'm going to try and keep these uh, vlogs going. They're not going to be uh, daily vlogs by any stretch of the mean, but just you know, any time where I fancy going on a drive, maybe, then uh, I'll get the GoPro on, and uh, we we can do a little bit of a, a vlog thing. I think there is actually a way to live stream off my GoPro. So I might try and figure that out somehow. It didn't actually come with instructions, which is weird. I got it from a very respected place, Curry's, which in the UK is, is a very good place for like camera equipment and stuff like that. But yeah, didn't come with uh, an instruction booklet. So that's a, uh, it's kind of just experimenting and trying to find out how it works on my own. The light screen, hopefully this guy gets his hook out. There we go. But yeah, really liking the car. And this will also actually give you a, a little bit of an inclination of what it's like to drive on British roads. Hopefully you can hear that. I can hear it, I think it sounds absolutely brilliant. I'm going to do these as sort of an update video as well for the channel. Uh, obviously I've got the GoPro now so we can do car vlogs. Uh, might try it in my Peugeot. Because uh, I cannot get it to mount at all in the BMW. That's what I was originally planning on doing to show you guys my BM. But I couldn't get it to mount anywhere. And I'm not sure if I want to try and mount it on the car itself. It says it's safe up to 150 miles an hour, like the suction cup, but I don't know if that's true. Uh, I'm kind of just not wanting to risk, you know, risk it falling off, considering I've just paid for it. Maybe a little later down the line, I'll start thinking about stuff like that. But for the moment, it's going to be inside the car, so I know if it falls off or anything like that. Uh, there's not really anywhere to go. I would overtake, but yeah, I can't really see where I'm going, so a bit difficult to overtake. There's a, a very nice Jaguar XJ6 behind me. Very nice indeed, in a dark blue colour. Yeah, if you can see the view, it's really nice. Uh, this is this is pretty much Clitheroe in the UK. So it's a very expensive place just because of the views basically. Like pubs and stuff here are like three times the price of a normal UK bar. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, going over this bridge we should hopefully be able to give you some noise. I'll actually back off a little bit and let these guys get away so I can give it some more bridge. As I 
said I'm going to try a load of different uh, mounting points, stuff like that. Hopefully I can get it to work somewhere. Because like, as it is now, I think you're just focusing on the B-pillar. Can't give it too much over there, but yeah, hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Now I haven't actually tested what the sound quality is like on the GoPro. I've tested the video quality and it's 1440p, so that's really good, but it might take a while to upload. And uh, yeah, sound quality is not something I've tested, so I apologise if the audio isn't great, because I haven't got a microphone or anything like that hooked up to the GoPro. And it is absolutely roasting in this car. This is the best British weather we've had in a long time, guys. So I picked a good day to get the GoPro. I'm gonna go right down here. See people have actually been drifting around here. Fourth gear synchro is a little bit weak, so sometimes it grinds like that. A lot of the time it doesn't though. Maybe I'll come to replace the synchro synchros. Uh, the car's only done 63,000 miles though. So, other than that, uh, it's a pretty good nick. And you can see all these people in the big SUVs cutting the corners. It's like we're playing F1 2018 online here, the amount of corner cutting that's going on. Speaking of F1, uh, depending on when this video gets up, I'll either be doing videos straight after, or maybe I'll put this video up in a couple of days. Don't know how long it's going to take to export it over to my laptop or anything like that, so... See, I can take the racing line a little bit there, because I saw it was clear. Hopefully you guys can hear the engine, because that's what I was, I was uh, hoping for the most. Obviously I'm not absolutely ragging it because around here there can be cars cutting the corners like we've seen. And I don't want to get a bit too cocky because uh, we all know once you start recording that's when you crash. Oh my lord, there's a tractor. Oh my lord, he's going slow. Cyclist getting out of the way very nicely there. In fact, he's actually given up. He's stopped cycling altogether. <laughs> Lazy git. Ah, there is a car letting us go, so thank you to the car. My car is going to get absolutely filthy following this tractor. Hopefully it won't go our way, because then it will just ruin the whole driving experience. We'll come to a junction in a couple of a couple of turns. So hopefully it doesn't get too much in the way. This is not the way I wanted to start my video. <laughs> At least now though you should actually be able to hear me. Thank you to the Vauxhall Mocker driver. Guys, it is absolutely roasting in here. Hottest day of the year so far in the UK, 27 degrees. That's like, that's an average day for the viewers in America. We've now got a Fiat 500 coming up behind us, that's how slow we're going. Yeah, I hope this tractor doesn't go our way, or at least gets out of our way. Oh, I'm getting filled with grass here, guys. I'm gonna back off a little bit, I don't wanna get filthy. That's a very nice stay out lay on. Guys, a 
nice bit of a noise. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you can hear it on the video because in real life it sounds really good and he's not going our way, so that's good. Oh, there is another tractor though, for God's sake. Oh, he's coming down here though. the only problem 